Hello, for YouTube, it's Faded here, and welcome to the A stage of this year's Le Tour de France of Failure Way, and it'll be from Castre to Arctre de Mans. And this time, it's gonna be the first mountain stage in the Tour de France, it'll be exciting to see what the big guns can do today. But, before that, it'll be, like, 100 kilometers just flat. There much won't happen the first 100 kilometers, I can tell you that. They'll all be too nervous and excited for the end. But, me as a commentator, I'll be excited for the end because a lot of firework. I expect attack from Cotador, Froome, and Evans. Speaking of those three, those three guys are my favorites for this stage. Cotador because he's really explosive, Froome because he knows he's the best, and Cadillac Evans because he's Australian. He doesn't give a... You know what? So, we will see what's gonna happen on the stage. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be really amazing. Look out for the GC contenders on the stage. They will start to show their abilities. Welcome to the first mountain stage of this year's the Tour de France of Fade Away. And what about I just get going? In the morning, we just had a nice relaxing start, not much happening. But then the fireworks started. Jeremy Roy, Mercier, uh, Fulieu, Estelosa, Mador, and Limaville attacked. And Lamprey and Vecasole didn't like that, so they set the pace and caught those guys. Then we had another attack from Sylvie Chevanel, Amador, Roy, and Phil Yuri Keshikov. Then S Saxo Bank and Sky started pacing because they want to win this. They have the big GC contenders, so they want to win this. But the final breakaway with 3 minutes and 44 seconds at 140 kilometers left was Chevanel, Amador, Keshikov, Phil Yuri, Hugoland, and Roy. Then they had a sprint in the breakaway, and the winner of that sprint was Sylvain Chevanel from Amador Roy Kezhikov. But down the peloton we also had a sprint, which was a battle between the Norwegians. Edward Bostenhagen beats Christoph and Cavendish on the line. Then we had a tag, the first real big attacks, Gadre and Van Garderen went away. The first two big GC contenders to go away, at least Van Garderen was a big GC contender. And he's gone, and he, he's now getting caught. When, right now we see Tosado setting the pace for Team Saxobank. They want to catch this breakaway before the mountain, because I heard Bjarne Reese talking about maybe setting the pace of this, ch just checking how good Froome's legs are. Because they can afford it, they have a really strong team this year, and they gotta try something, because otherwise they will lose. So I believe right now we gotta take a quick commotion. Oh wait, wait, wait! Is that Antonio attacking? Is that Eager and Tongue getting ready? No, is he just fake attacking? We don't know what's happening. We see Van Garen moving to the front again. Will he try one more? Yeah, but it looks like Van Garen is trying, but Tosado is too strong for him. Right now, Tosado is picking. Rain Terry, Rain Thomas, Vaclavi, Gonton. All four guys are tagging. All four guys. This is all four big GC contenders that want to try the lock from 60 kilometers out. This is so far away. This is. Is this just gonna work at all? It seems like Tosado is just catching him. It's a waste of effort, maybe. But I believe this will be a perfect time for a commercial break. We'll come back when the mountains really hit. My favorite team is Team Saxo Bank Tinkup. Who's your favorite team? And this mountain is startling. It's finally hitting the people in the peloton. We see Froome trying to attack. We see Froome trying to attack. The Saxo Bank team does not seem to be able to follow this pace. So they will not be able to set the pace it seems like. Seems like Contador is to do it himself. All the big guns are already coming out right now. Can they do it? They just gotta survive this mountain. All the Saxo Bank teams just gotta survive this mountain. And they've got a strong team on the downhill. Seems like they're struggling a lot. And the Rui Costa is attacked with Bogomolima. And the front got 10 minutes still. But Rui Costa is really trying to get away. Oh, this is looking good. This is looking good for these guys. They don't have to do much. Bogomolima is getting away. Oh. They only got like a minute right now at the front. They're slowing down. Eager and Ton and company slowing down. 40 seconds, yes. And they're really nearing the top right now. It's only like 5 kilometers to the end. Here goes Heshadal. Will Heshadal attack right now? It looks like Heshadal is going to pull off. Oh, all the sacks are back. Contador is isolated. Contador is isolated with R Roach. Contador is isolated. Contador is isolated. But so is Froome, it looks like. Fr oh, Uran is, pa Uran is hurting. The pace right now is so high. Everybody's hurting. Look like the... Team Saxobank team is just too slow. They're just everybody. Oh, the pace slowed down. This might be the chance for everyone to come back. The pace slowed down completely. Oh, they still have a minute down to the entire Saxobank team. Will they come up? Oh, it looks like they they got connection. They got connection. They're back. Roch, Kreuziger, and Hernandez are all back. Oh, he nearly needs that on the door for the downhill. Who's his attacking? And his leg is gone. And his leg is gone with these big names. Rodriguez is gone. How much time do they have? Oh, this is interesting. How much time do they have in the front? We gotta check. Is that Froome gone? Is Froome gone yet? Is Froome gone yet? They got a minute, so they can still do a lot. Froome is sitting down here, I think. Oh, there he goes. He's trying to attack. 
Vroom is trying to attack. The pace is so high right now. The pace is so high. The intensity grows by every second. Oh my god, how, what's gonna happen? We see, we see Daniel Martin going away. Oh, Cantador is losing Nicholas Roach. The pace is so high. The peloton is splitting again. In the front, we have an E4 right now. It's only 13 guys, but they're getting split by Contador's immense speed. He's trying to carry his own teammate over. He does not want to lose his teammate already. He's trying to carry Nicholas Roach over. Roach does not want to go down easily. Oh, Froome is sitting in the front, but besides Contador, we'll see this match a lot. And they're both isolated. They're both complete. Oh, wait. No. Roach is, so Roach is surviving. Roach is surviving. I can announce that Roach is surviving. He's just got to get over this, and Contador is good. Contador can win the stage. The front right now, we have an eight-man group. Mola, Macosta, Vauclair, Heshadel, Viverda, Igor, Anton, Rain, Terame, All with one minute. Right now we see Roach, he's trying to get water for Contador, it looks like. Pinot, Pirot, Gadre, Seppa, Froome, Zelensky, Danielson, Slag, Moreno, Neve, and Guessing is all in front. But they're shortly after Evans, De Klerk. Oh, De Klerk is doing good today. Oh, that's a real big surprise, actually. Oh, what about behind? We see these guys, they're just trying to follow up. And all the other guys in the stage are not doing too good. We see... Oh, the El Jersey's gone. Daniel Martin is going on the downhill. Daniel Martin is going on the downhill. We can only expect that Nicholas Roach is going to set the pace in this downhill to try and catch him. The yellow jersey is gone on the stage. The yellow jersey is gone. Where is Nicholas Roach? He's trying to catch up. He's first now getting water. So is Mikkel Nibushi. Is it too late? What is Gessig thinking? Oh, Belkin does not want to get involved in this chase because they have a guy in the break here, which might be stupid. Oh, they caught, they caught Daniel Martin again. But who's in the middle hand? Nimek is going. No, now Deep Clegg is setting the pace. Let's see how much time they have in the front. This big group has got a minute. Can they do anything? Or will Contador be too strong for all these riders? Right now we see Roach is trying to pace for Contador. He's trying to catch these guys. He can go fast downhill. He's pretty decent downhill, actually. Just got to keep this close. Roach is going all by himself, right behind him, Clark is helping with Serpa, Serpa is doing a real good job for this guy, he's helping his captain, Nemec, what about Roach, he's, I want to say good job to Roach, if it wouldn't have been for him, Team Saxobank would have failed on this stage, Crazy Gun Rogers not getting over that mountain, it's a big disappointment, so is all Froome's helpers, let's see if we can find all the Froome helpers, where is Sky, there, Sutsu, Uran, all those guys died from that, oh, no, Uran is up there, no, he's sitting down, yeah, he is, I think Uran is up here, yep, they both have one helper, that's that's gonna help a lot, I think. Let's see, how is how are they gonna handle this? Serpa is sitting at high pace, so Rush does not need to set a pace, it looks like, so he's just going down to help his, his captain. But he's getting ready for this final mountain. They're hitting it. I see black spots in this mountain. What's gonna happen? We'll just we'll see in a second. Oh, this is gonna be so exciting. I can only speculate on what's gonna happen between Froome and Contador. Is it gonna be an uh, uh Andy Slack? Christopher Froome battle of this mountain because the front right now has not got that much time so I suspect they're gonna hit him or catch him. We see Froome going right now, so is Daniel Martin. Roach is dead but so is Iran. There goes Froome. Froome is attacking. Froome is off. Froome is off but we're land right behind him. But there goes the, there goes the yellow jersey. Daniel Martin is trying to go with the Nelson. Oh, Froome is getting caught by the breakaways. He's in the pack. He's getting blocked. There goes Contador. Contador is trying to go. I see Froome attacking again and again and again. Six kilometers to the top. They really gotta set the pace right now. It's all or nothing right now. Now Contador's got a big gap up to Froome. He's got to drive faster. Froome is driving faster. He's almost up there. He's catching him. Oh, Contador caught him. Six kilometers to the top. In the front group, we got Molomar, Rodriguez, Heshidov, Froome, Valverde, Negro, and Ton. And Contador finally catch up. Is he just going to go straight and by? No, we see Rodriguez attacking. He's a Spaniard. He's a strong Spaniard. He's going right behind him. Right now, Molomar, Contador, Contador. The door is setting the pace. Six man group in the front right now. They're dropping Niger and Tony. It's not going to be three guys in the front. They're dropping Daniel Martin. We'll see another guy in the yellow jersey after today's stage. Oh, Rodriguez has got good 23 seconds. How's Contador do this? He's trying to drop his fellow guys in the breakaway. There goes Froome. There goes Froome. Froome cuts the door side by side up this mountain. They're trying to catch Rodriguez together. 18 seconds. They're both together. It's going between Froome and Contador. They're both looking real good. Let's see. This is going to be the first victory for either Sky or Contador. Oh, he's driving Froome. Contador's dropping Froome. What's going to happen? He's Dropping from Oh my god, he's dropping from Let's see. Oh, he's trying. He's catching out his final spell yet. Can they talk together? Can they say? I don't know how to speak Spanish actually. Are they trying to get away? 2.5 kilometers. He's dropping from He's already got. How much time does he have already? Looks like 20 seconds. He's now catching Rodriguez. He's got half a minute. He caught Rodriguez. He's just gonna go straight by him and just fly off. Let's see how Condor's gonna do this. Is he winning the Tour de France right here and right now? 33 kilometers, 1 kilometer to go. He's going full speed. It's gonna be Contador for the victory. Contador on oh, no beef. It's just pure willpower. Let's see for the victory. 200 kilometers, 200 meters left. He can now raise his hand in victory. Contador, first stage win for Team Saxobank Tinkup. And Froome disappoints totally in the stage. 
Oh my god, look at this, Fool saying is dying, the Danish champion, the Danish beast is dying, T different guy instead, so it's safe to say Evans is the main guy in that team, here we see Rogers going up the mountain, he's just cruising on, he's getting ready, here you see more repeats from Jens Fug, Janison and Dupont, also Kreuziger and Hernandez sitting down there by Peter Fields, let's see what he has to say. Oh, the best race because he's a teammate in the front, so he's just relaxing. These guys will see the tail end it's coming in. We want to see the instant replay where Contador dropped uh, from while we're waiting for all the tail ends to get in. Let's first see who's all the way in the end. It looks like, oh, uh, there are so many guys. Nasa Bohani's in the back with Van Pablo Lee's their bond. But we want to see an instant replay of that finish. This instant replay is sponsored by Focus Sign Up and Pro Cycling Manager. This is just about the point where he breaks Christopher Froome. We'll see them go up the mountain side by side. Look how Froome is having difficulties. He's going from side to side. He's from side to side. He's not looking graceful at all. There goes Contador. He's leaving him behind. Going for the victory. For his first victory. And definitely not the last one this year's La Tour de France. So Contador wins and against entire 46 seconds down to Rodriguez and entirely 1 minute and 28 seconds down to Christopher Froome. It's totally Contador nomination, the domination. Oh my god, in top 10 we see Froome, Valverde, Hesiodel, Mollema, Costa, Pinot, Van der Broek and Daniel Martin. And Contador is in the yellow jersey, he has to keep it the entire way from to Paris Saint to the sit right now. 7 seconds down to Rodriguez, 31 seconds down to Froome, so that minute he lost to Froome will not matter. He's in the yellow jersey, already in the first mountain stage. What an exciting finish, he doesn't need his entire team. Mark Cavendish still keeps his green jersey down to Greipel with 80 points now. Cavendish is definitely sitting good in that green jersey. He's got to abandon crash or puncture to lose that jersey. What about the mountain jersey? Did Contador take that away from Manuel Mori? No, actually, Igor and Ton took it. Igor and Ton is probably just going for the mountain jersey is what it looks like. Contador is second. He's probably also going to dominate that one at some point, I believe. If Contador keeps finishing first, he'll definitely take a lot of points. And young classifications, Thibaut Pinot, Quintana 31 seconds behind, and Kwiatkowski did amazingly good, 43 seconds behind only, and Solansky and Van Garen both doing bad, the two Americans proving they are not that good. See the best team classification? Garmin Sharp. Oh my god, Team Sykes and Tinkoff is far behind. But Garmin Sharp, pretty good, on um, 27 seconds in front of Movie Star, that's legit. So guys, that was the first mountain stage, the first real action that happened this year's Tour de France. How'd you like it? Tell me in the comment section below. How'd you like the commentating? How'd you like the gameplay? Is there anything I can do better? Please tell so. See you guys later.